Saturday, and Saturdays are usually my day off. And this week I had to do something that really honestly fucking sucked. I had to say no. And hear me out, just hear me out. Where is the talk to this? Uh -huh. Okay, so hear me out. I had to say no to going to the Barbell Brigade um, company retreat this weekend. They have it once a year. They usually have a couple of other things during the year, but uh, they had a plan for like months. And this month was just one of those months where I was so overwhelmed. I had no time to myself. For an introvert type of person, if you have no alone time, like literally like this video and comment below if you agree. I'm taking two scoops of this because why not? If you agree that if you don't get your alone time in your personal space and you have that like mental space to just, this is not the right talk, to just be yourself, to not talk to humans, to not have anything to do or anyone to respond to aside from yourself, this is not the right top either. We're just gonna mix this up. <laughs> uh, I had no space. I was not being myself, I was really stressed. I was in like a state of emergency all the time because I had no just like space to clear the fog out of my mind. And I know that being around a lot of people, the one weekend that I could have potentially had a day to myself, which is today, was not the best thing for me to do. And sometimes you have to know your own boundaries and you have to understand that when you say yes to something that you really mean no to, you don't get to go to that thing and show up as fully yourself and you're saying no to something that's actually gonna be better for you. So because I said no to the retreat, I said yes to happiness, mental clarity. I feel really energetic and energized today because it's like, I don't have to do anything today. I don't have to respond to anybody. I don't have to be around humans. I could take Cooper to the beach. We haven't gone to the beach in forever. I took him on two walks already today. I cleaned the apartment. I'm gonna put away the Christmas tree. I did a video for you guys. I filmed the bikini haul, all that stuff. Wouldn't have been able to do it. It would have just really messed me up. So if you're thinking about anything that you, oh, I also did a podcast on setting boundaries. So. I'm gonna end this talk, go listen to the podcast, but watch the rest of this video first because we're gonna go work out. All right, so today we have five by six squats and I have a new playlist and I'm gonna link it in the description box and it's really fucking good. So thanks to everyone who sent me suggestions, but it's gonna power me through my workout. I'm so sorry, I just realized that I didn't charge my camera, so I probably only have enough battery to um, film my squats. So let's focus on squats today. Squats are a full body movement. Five by six is tough because you have to do a decently heavy weight for you to challenge yourself, but five sets is still pretty up there. And six reps is still pretty up there for uh, cardio, obviously. So. Main thing, give yourself enough rest time in between sets so you can perform them optimally. Make sure you're using the squat as a full body exercise. So you're not just using your legs, you're using your grip, your forearms, your back, tightening your back, your core, your feet, all the way through your body. 
you keep everything tight, it'll be so much easier for you to actually perform each rep separately and breathing in between the reps. So doing one rep at a time, stopping and breathing at the top. So let's finish these squats and I'll catch you guys when I charge my camera. <laughs> What's up guys? So because I wanted to make this both a physique update, nutrition update, and the Zoffel bikini haul, what I'm gonna do is just put my opinions out of 10 for each bikini on the screen with the price and let you guys know about that from there. And then I'm just gonna do like a little voiceover of the bikini haul with my physique update telling you guys about my nutritional approach to doing this cut right now. So my idea behind this cut was honestly just to start doing it so I can feel mentally sharp again, so I can get passionate about fitness again over the the last year or so I got so passionate about my business that I kind of lost my excitement for fitness because I just didn't really have the bandwidth to care but so heavily about two different things so I really wanted to get back into it and just ignite my fire again and get my passion back so my way of doing that is to just go on a little mini cut um, I've been really healthy really excited with intuitive eating and I've been eating more plant-based I'm not hundred percent plant-based but um, I will be showing you guys a couple of different meals and stuff here and there that I like making if you follow my Instagram stories I try to do that as much as I can um, but my idea behind it is to essentially be able to feel good overall, maybe lose a couple of pounds. Ideally, I'd like to be around 127. I was away about 130 when I filmed this video. I feel really freaking confident. Like I feel like I look good here. Um, I feel really great about myself right now and I feel confident, but ideally I would like to maintain around 127 or so. So the idea behind this cut is to do it intuitively. I really, really don't wanna get back into tracking my macros. Um, I've tried it a couple of different times and my mind was just like, no, Amanda, don't do it, don't do it. And I don't really want to. So what I've been doing is essentially just eating a little bit less. So I'm not like going to grab chocolate every once in a while at the office when there's like little pieces of chocolate or I'm not drinking alcohol. So I don't drink too, too much, but if I go out to dinner, I'll have a glass of wine every once in a while. Um, I might have a couple of drinks here and there, but I'm just gonna choose to not do that during this little cut that I'm going on. I'm trying to consume more vegetables and less um, focus on like dressings and sauces and additives of my salads and it's just basically adding things to my food that aren't necessary. I'm trying to just be a little bit more bland and plain just so I can make sure I'm in a caloric deficit. The whole idea behind being in a cut is to just be in a caloric deficit. And for me, I used to do that through tracking my food and I would still be able to eat the foods that I wanted to as long as I tracked, but I don't really want to do that, like I said. So the idea is to essentially just eat a little bit less food um, while still keeping it really healthy. That's why I want it to be plant-based because I feel like I can still consume a good bit of carbs. Essentially, you're just replacing a little bit of carbs with a little bit of protein and I'm eating less meat, which feels really great, honestly. I honestly, truly, truly love it. Um, but the idea behind that is so I can eat a little bit more carbs. I feel really great when I run on carbohydrates, um, moderate fat, moderate protein. So if I were to guess, I'm probably consuming around 150 grams of carbs, maybe a little bit more or less some days, um, 100, ish grams of protein, maybe a little bit less than that, maybe like 85, 90 or so. And then probably between 45 and 50 grams of fat because most plant-based protein sources have carbohydrates and fat in them also. That was a huge fear of mine going plant-based with tracking macros because I didn't want my protein sources to also have carb and fat in them. I used to just separate everything out because I used to be really low carb and now I'm kind of just not thinking about the food, just more so the calories and the quality. Calories and quality are what I'm really focusing on right now. Um, so I'm trying to do cardio more often too. So not only am I stick sticking with training with Tito, uh, my trainer, which we do high intensity cardio during our sessions once a week, but I'm also focusing on doing two cardio sessions a week, which are gonna be between 30 to 40 minutes or so. Um, I'm in my head thinking that those are biking to and from the gym, which takes a good 20, 25 minutes to uh, there and back, which is pretty low intensity, I would say, low to moderate intensity. Um, but if I don't get to go to the gym on my bike, which every couple of weeks I'm traveling and doing different things over the next few weeks, I'll probably just go ahead and go on the treadmill or do something along those lines um, to get that cardio in. So my goal is to stick to this. I've been kind of struggling, honestly, like I did really well. And then I traveled and I was at different kinds of events where I didn't get to choose my food for about 
uh, a full week or so and I've just been expending a whole lot of energy and my body's just been a little bit off from the traveling. I was a little bit sick and I had all day events where I didn't really get to choose what I ate. Um, and I'm not about to bring my food in a Tupperware. I wanna live a normal life. I don't want to be that person that has their food scale and their Tupperware food. Like I kinda just wanna go with the flow and then hope that I'm in a caloric deficit, which is the least optimal way to go about a cut, I would say. It's probably the least optimal way. Um, the most optimal way is obviously to track your macros and to ensure that you are in a caloric deficit at all times. My results are probably gonna be pretty sporadic and I'm okay with that because I want to be normal. What I've been learning is that it's a learning experience and it's a process and I'm going to allow myself to be imperfect during this process. I'm going to allow myself to make mistakes and kind of just learn and go with the flow and not be upset with myself for not making progress because yes, I do want to make the progress, but again, my goal isn't necessarily just to 100% lose those couple of pounds. That's not really the main reason. The main reason is to get my excitement back for fitness again. And that for me comes with having a goal and challenging myself. So if you are you know, confused as to why I'm not really caring too hard about this, it's because I don't really, the caring comes from just being excited about what I'm doing and the way that I'm living my life. Yeah, it would be really awesome to lose a couple of pounds and I hope that that happens um, and I'm working towards it with this mindset of intuitively cutting. However, if, I, if it doesn't happen for a couple of months, that's okay, I'm still learning. So the main thing that I'm learning right now is that it's incredibly difficult to stick to it um, if you don't really have an organized plan. So my goal is to be as similar with my meals as possible when I'm home during the week. So what that means is having pretty much the same breakfast, pretty much the same lunch, and pretty much the same dinner um, as much as I possibly can. I almost always have oatmeal and protein with peanut butter and then cereal with protein every single time, um, every single day. That's just like what I love. And then I usually have a massive salad from sweet green um, pretty much every single day. And if I'm not doing that, I try to just have like a big salad with um, falafel and veggies and lemon juice and stuff like that to just get all my micronutrients in and my veggies. Um, but really, I don't wanna think about food that much during the day. I don't really wanna think about it. So I'm considering getting like a plant-based meal prep service. Yeah, that's something that I might consider. So we'll see about that. But anyways, biggest difficulty is obviously doing, be staying in a caloric deficit while traveling. That just really is gonna mean um, me being a little bit more diligent with at least doing the cardio, at the very least ensuring that I'm having salads at each meal. Um, and then, you know, just being really mindful about how much food that I'm eating and the quality of the food too, how much is gonna keep me full. I definitely noticed that when I am in a caloric deficit, I felt it. I was like, I'm definitely in a caloric deficit right now because I was craving more sugar. I was craving more chocolate and sweets and stuff like that. I have none of that in my house right now. Like if I wanted to go have a sweet um, at night right now, I would eat like the all brand cereal that I have in my cabinet, which isn't really exciting. Um, last night I had coffee, sorry, I had warm almond milk and vegan chocolate protein to curb my sweet tooth. <laughs> it was just, I just didn't have anything in the house. So that's totally ideal um, to not have anything sweet in the house really. And yeah, just being really mindful. So anyways, if anyone has any tips for me, let me know. This is something that I am new to completely. I'm going to do my absolute best at doing it and I'm going to do my best at like sharing my thought process along the way. So um, let me know if you guys have any tips for me and I hope you guys enjoyed the bikini haul. I actually really love everything that I got from Zawful. Like there was pro pretty much nothing that I didn't like and that's because I have fat in my hips and I got almost everything high-waisted and I also got a medium in pretty much everything, except for one thing, but I'm definitely a medium in Zoffel, so if you are similar size to me, I'm 135.4, then get a medium in Zoffel bikinis, and that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one with a special announcement. Special announcement in the next video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you soon.